Olympic gold medalist John Montgomery didn't always know what he wanted to do with his life. He bounced around, even trying auctioneering. The one thing that stayed constant was that he wanted to represent Canada in some way. He said, let's go over to the Canadian Olympic Park because they're having an open house. I heard this going down the track. They come flying by us at about 125 kilometers an hour. Did you see that, Mom and Dad? Oh, my God. The look in his eyes, I just knew that this was it. The moment that I knew Skeleton was for me was the very first moment I crossed that finish line. I had no idea what had just happened to me. I couldn't have been happier. You wouldn't have been able to wipe that smile off my face with 40 grit sandpaper. It wasn't always an easy ride. After five years of training, he had an opportunity to join the World Cup team. But the night before the team left, his coach informed him that he was no longer going. You can change your attitude about how you're reacting to the situation and try and find some positives to take away from it. Finding the positives, John was able to use his downtime that year to train and earn a spot on the World Cup team the next year that no one would be able to take from him. Leading into the Olympics 2010, my confidence was at an all-time high. It allowed me to be really present in that moment and focusing on the only thing that mattered, which was that next inch. During his last run at the 2010 Vancouver Olympics, he did more than just represent his country. He won Canada a gold medal. Since then, he has went to great lengths to do everything he can for his nation, and he intends to keep doing so. I will defend an Olympic gold medal in Sochi, Russia, with the confidence that my mom helped instill in me from a young age. From Toronto, Callie Warren, CSM.